Good morning, I'm Mrs. Parent from Beersley Library and welcome to Craft Time After Story Time. We just read Eric Carl's book, Dream Snow, and we're going to make our own little dream snow scene. If you were with us while we read that, you'll see it snowed and snowed and snowed while the farmer slept. And it snowed so much it covered up his animals. There's the pig underneath a blanket of snow. The gently falling snow also covered up the rooster and all the other animals in the book. So I made my own dream snow and I have an animal under here too. Now you can draw something to put on your page or you can cut out pictures to put on your page. Whatever you want to do that is a fun way to make this craft. So I cut out <gasps> A horse that's the farmer's horse that was in his book and so what you need to, for this craft is a picture you can get it out of a magazine or you can draw it yourself and cut it out and put it on this page I use blue blue cardstock or blue construction paper and then you're just gonna look, use over the top of it we're gonna staple a clear page protector this was clear and once it's stapled on we take another piece of paper and we're going to call it, this is Misty's Dream Snow because that's the name I named the horse underneath. So you can put Horses Dream Snow, whatever you want to name your animal that's underneath the snow. And then we're going to take a, um, we're going to take white paint, which I'm going to show you this demo. White paint, put it on a, pl a plate and the cotton ball and a Q-tip. And well, let's get started. I'll show you how we could put this all together. For this particular picture, I cut out the sheep out of, a, out of a magazine. So here is my little sheep that I'm going to put on this picture. So let's see how we could put this together. So I've got another um, piece of cardstock or construction paper. The other half of the clear page protector. It's a you can put your sheet in it to protect it and there's a front and back well I cut off the top so then I have two so I can make two pictures okay so that's what you need my picture you're gonna need a glue stick to glue him on a marker to write the name of your animal here's your stapler and of course the the paint and uh, a cotton ball and a q-tip and scissors and um, to glue this on the top you can either use tacky glue or you can even use double stick tape that helps get secure it perfectly so here we go Move this protector and get going on putting on our gluing on our little sheep now not just this you could draw you could glue on your sheep but you could also make a nice scene on your paper if you want you can put a barn or a field some trees but when it starts snowing we'll see what happens to our little sheep so I'm taking a glue stick, putting glue all over the back of him, and I'm going to just put him on my paper here. There we go. Pat him down. Make sure he sticks real well. Okay, and then we're just going to put the page protector on top. Line it up like that. And just staple it down it just needs three staples along the top let's do that right now so we can make our own lift the flap story picture book there we go just stapled it three times across the top and so now this page protectors on top of our sheet and so we'll move this uh, glue we'll get our paint out and it's going to start snowing on our sheep so we'll put some glue don't need to not glue we're going to put some paint on our um our little plate here you're not going to need that much so let's see bad snowstorm this is a farmer's dream snow so we're going to move this around on here because you don't want to just glob it on you want to just pat it on. So here's our sheep with a page protector over it. And we're going to, he's going to get into a snowstorm. Look at that. He's starting to cover, be covered up. Our little sheep, it's snowing on him. 
So we'll just dab it all around. You put your cotton ball in in the um, paint, the white paint, and here we are. Snowstorm, just like in our book we just read that covered up the sheep in the green snow that the farmer had. See, look, at you don't even know he's under there. And of course, the snowflakes are still falling, still falling, so we want to take a Q-tip, and we'll go ahead and put that in here in the the paint and we'll just dab it all over our page so that we can show that the snow is still falling on our little sheep and everybody else in the farmyard. This will take a little while to dry. You know what, one thing we might even just stop now and we'll put this along the top because that would be a fun uh, thing to put paint snowflakes on it too. So this is just our sheep's dream snow. Maybe I'll call him Wooly. Wooly. Because he is a woolly sheep. Wooly's dream snow. So you can put whatever name on the top that you're going to name your animal, huh? So I'm going to turn that over and just put double stick tape on it. So we could stick it to the top of our page. That way, I think it'd be just fun to put some snow on that sign too, as long as it didn't cover the words. This is like a kind of a quick craft. So this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of pa paper. So then I just made sure my sign was 11 inches long. So we'll pat that down on the top and it also covers up the staples. There, look at that. There's Wooly's Dream Snow. He's got his name on the top of his page now. And so now, when I put this on here, I can put some snow flakes on his sign, too. Look at it snowing. It's a bad storm, isn't it? He's getting covered. And so is the page around him. There's some big flakes and little flakes. Snowflakes come in all different sizes and shapes and things. So let's put a few more on his sign. And so now we have, if you make a lot of these, you can make your own Lift the Flap book. So we have Misty. Here's Misty again. And he got covered up by Dream Snow, that horse. And where's Wooly? Look at it. Here, we'll angle this up a little better so you can see him. So this craft went quick. Here's Wooly. He got covered by Dream Snow, too. There he is. So if you wanted, you could have draw, drew a tree over on this side or part of a barn or the fencing in a field. So use your imagination to complete your picture to make it uh, less or more. It'd be nice if you drew it yourself too. So there's our sheep in his dream snow. Oh, that was a really fun craft to do. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm glad that you joined me again. Now you take care. I'll see you next week. Bye.